when we're thinking about any virus and whether or not a mom can transfer it to her baby, those questions, the answers to those questions really depend upon the specific type of virus. In general, we don't usually think of viruses that are spread through respiratory things like influenza as being transferred from a mom to a baby. But one of the things we have to be really honest about is with COVID-19 disease, we simply don't know the answers yet. Sometimes that's really hard for us as doctors and scientists to say, I don't know, but we don't yet know. So for those reasons, we follow the CDC guidelines and we err on the side of caution. And sometimes we'll treat newborn babies like they could have had transmission from their mom even though we think of this as a respiratory spread virus. For pregnant women, as long as you haven't tested positive for SARS-CoV-2, which is a virus that causes COVID-19 disease, it is perfectly fine to come to your appointments. However, if you've tested positive, have been around people, who are known to be positive for SARS-CoV-2 virus, or if you have any symptoms, call your provider first before you come in. Breastfeeding is another one of those areas where unfortunately we have to say about this new SARS-CoV-2 virus, we just don't know yet. The CDC has done a good job of advising us that says the benefits of breastfeeding generally exceed the risks. So we do recommend that any women who are positive for SARS-CoV-2 virus look at the CDC website. The current recommendations are clean your breast and use a mask because of that droplet precaution spread. However, those recommendations may change in the coming weeks to months as we learn better how this virus is or is not transmitted between a mom and her baby. Right now, our recommendations around traveling when you're pregnant are going to really depend on two things. One is, are general recommendations of not traveling towards the latter part of pregnancy still remain? Nothing has changed from what we said before the COVID-19 outbreak and what we said now. With respect to specifically traveling around this time of great uncertainty, this is a pandemic and we do need to remember what we know and what we don't yet know. What we don't yet know is every corner of the world or even within our own state where there could be risks of transmission. This is a good time to practice just basic common sense. Stay at home when you can, have good social contact precautions, and spend this time really preparing you and your family for what we don't yet know is to come. We don't want people to be overly concerned but we also don't want people to be cavalier. This is a highly contagious virus. We don't understand yet what the real risks for pregnant women are. It is highly atypical that any virus that affects the lower respiratory tract and causes things like pneumonia would not differentially affect pregnant women. We're a little bit nervous that the early reports that pregnant women are somehow safer than non-pregnant women or older women are possibly not correct. This would be the first respiratory virus where we haven't seen pregnant women have more problems than non-pregnant women. We don't know. So for right now, take a breath, stay calm, use some good common sense and keep in touch. We're here to help answer your questions and we're here to take care of you and every other pregnant woman when the need arises.